Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and in this video we're going to create a Google Calendar event and go over the different settings. Let's start. Okay, I'm here on my Google Calendar account and we have multiple ways to create an event, so we're going to cover them all. The first one would be to click on the time where the event is going to happen, for example right here, and this new window is going to let us to customize the event. So we can add a title. And we can also add more people, clicking here. In this box, we can type the email address of the other people that we would like to invite. Here, we can change the guest permissions. For example, we can let them invite other people or not, clicking here. And we can also let them modify the event if needed. In this case, I'm going to leave it like this. This is the Google Meet section that you can use to set up a video call. In this case, it did it automatically for me, meaning that there is a Google Meet set up for this meeting. But if this meeting is in person, for example, I can just click here to delete the conference. And of course, I can click on this button again to add the conference again. In location, we can type the address where the event is gonna happen. And Google is going to give us a list of addresses based on Google Map, so we can pick from the list. Here we can add a description or attachments. And finally, here we can select the calendar. By default, Google selects the calendar that was created automatically when you created a Google account. But you can change it clicking here and then selecting the other calendar. You can also change the notifications for this particular event or add more notifications. Now we're going to click on save. And this message is asking if you would like to send invitations to the other guests. So we're going to click on send. Meaning that the other guests are going to get an email notifying about the event. Another way to create an event is by clicking on the button create and doing the same things that we did for the previous event. We're going to add a title. And here, we can change the date and time. In this case, the event has been automatically placed on Sunday, the 14th, at 1 p.m. We could click on it and change it manually. We can also hover over the event, and when this arrow appears, we can drag and drop to modify the event time. And finally, we can just drag and drop it anywhere we would like to. The last thing that you have to do is click on Save and the event has been created. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Google Calendar on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.